someone who was publicly opposed to uh, the bailouts that had happened under Dodd-Frank. I was not in Congress at the time, uh, but I'm dealing with the echo effects uh, of it yet today. Um, uh, the, uh, the, I, was, I was very frustrated to see that and having to explain to colleagues, or I'm sorry, uh, to uh, constituents about why that had gone on. Um, and I've had a chance to express to at least a couple of you personally that uh, you cannot count on this congressman to ever allow that to happen again or to vote for a, uh, a situation like that again. But part of the action here and what we are trying to do is to make sure that it never happens again on anybody's watch. But I do have one main line of questioning in this, and I'd like to have all of you answer very quickly. Uh, it can be yes or no or just briefly. Are you properly capitalized? properly sized and stable so that you can survive without hardworking taxpayer Americans' dollars having to be uh, put back into the system and, and having the taxpayer on the hook. So, Mr. Corbett, are you properly sized, capitalized, and stable? We are properly sized. We are scaled to serve our clients. Okay, great. Mr. Diamond? Yes. Mr. Gorman? Absolutely. Uh, yes. Yes, we are. Scharf? Yes, we are. All right, Mr. Schellen. Yes, we are. Okay. All right. Well, I, I appreciate that there had been a lot of, uh, lot of discussion about whether you were too big to manage and whether you really were staple and whether you were properly capitalized, and I think uh, the numbers do speak for themselves uh, on that. Um, I, I want to quickly move to, uh, uh, to Brexit because uh, this, is, uh, this is of some real significance. We're two days away from, from a hard exit. Um, the uh, London is, uh, is uh, the center of uh, the derivatives market. There's nearly two billion contracts that uh, were written there in 2018 alone. Uh, hundreds of trillions of dollars that, uh, that flow through there. Uh, the UK has been dominant in the space and because of the regulatory regime imposed by the Bank of England and the Financial Conduct Authority, and in fact, every globally uh, active financial firm maintains a presence in, uh, in London. I assume uh, you all do, is anybody not? Everybody does, okay. Um, well, uh, the uh, uh, Chairman uh, Giancarlo uh, hi highlighted, uh, it, uh, he has a quote here that, quote, London is and will remain a global center for derivatives trading and clearing, end quote. And he also added that the package of measures will, quote, provide a bridge over Brexit through a durable regulatory framework upon which the thriving derivatives market between the UK and the United States may continue and endure. And um, so uh, I'm very concerned about whether, regardless of whether the Brexit uh, outcome is, whatever that is, um, uh, are your institutions uh, going to be needing to do more direct trading uh, with continental banks uh, uh, through those reg regulated by the Bank of England, or how, how are you planning on hap having this happen? I'll take uh, Mr. Corbett. You... Uh, as I stated earlier, we have set up um, a vehicle now that encompasses our UK operation. We've separated our European operation from that. Okay. We have banks, we have brokerages in, in both jurisdictions, and are, at this point are able to- Are you going to have to be dealing more with the, main, with the continental banks then directly? Uh, I don't, I don't no? believe so. Okay. All right, anybody else care to weigh in on that? But you, you feel prepared, and I think Mr. Diamond or somebody earlier had said, uh, un uncertainties, but we have put the planning in place, correct? Is this, is this actually, uh, is this an area that you need to be in? Are you, what are you doing for the world economy? Mr. Gorman, Mr. Diamond? Uh, we, we need to be in uh, Europe, absolutely. I mean, uh, listen, we, we, we collectively finance the largest institutions in the world, uh, predominant number of which are in the U.S., so we absolutely need to serve them globally. 